Everybody is craving a massive amount of VRAM. What if we told you we have a graphics card that's $110 and has 16 gigs? This right here is an RX 580 with 16 gigs of VRAM. Yes, you heard that right. This is an AliExpress special we picked up and we're trying to decide, is it real? Is it actually a good buy? Will it even utilize more than the eight gigs it normally comes with? Well, in today's video, we're gonna push it to its limits and see, should you buy this budget card for next-gen gaming? But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Cooler Master. Today, we are showcasing their new TV. TD500 Mesh V2 and GX3 Gold Power Supply. The TD500 Mesh V2 features three included ARGB fans, a beautiful mesh front ventilation setup with a tool-free tempered glass crystal side panel to create a stellar case for your next gaming PC build. Now, if you're in the market for the right power supply for your next system, then look no further than the GX3 Gold, which comes with wattages of 650 watts, 750 watts, and 850 watts, ATX 3.0 support with a durable 90-degree flexible 12-pin power cable that works and looks great for any the RTX 4000 series PC build. To learn more about these awesome products from Cooler Master, check the link down below. And big thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. So we're not exactly sure yet how the heck they did it or if they actually did it. Hopefully it's not some type of trick or anything, but we will be opening the card to actually see what's inside of it, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about the test bench and also the actual graphics card specs themselves. Now the card itself is really funny because it is a 2048 stream processor 580, so already there it's basically a 570 with 16 gigs of VRAM, which is even goofier than a 580 with 16 gigs of VRAM, and it's only like $110 on AliExpress, has all the same specs of an RX 580 with 2048 stream processors, but the main difference is the extra VRAM, and the real question is, in modern gaming, will the 16 gigs of VRAM even be utilized because the 580 is a budget card and most newer games that would utilize 16 gigs of VRAM, the GPU is gonna be incredibly maxed out. So really, does it give you any extra performance? Well, we will see when we do some testing, but let's talk about the specs of our test bench that the GPU is going in. Now to go over our test bench, we have the Ryzen 7 5700X eight core 16 thread cooled by a very nice 240 mil liquid cooler for all that cooling capacity. We have 32 gigs of PNY Accelerate 3600 megahertz RGB RAM, a one terabyte team group in NVMe SSD. We have an Asus Tough B550 Micro ATX. We have an XPG 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. And then all of this is inside of a very nice deep cool case with lots of RGB fans that run very fast so we have good airflow. So now we're gonna go ahead and plop this graphics card in our test bench and load some games up. All right, gamers, now that we have this RX 580 16 gigabyte 2048 stream processor graphics card on the test bench, let's dive into some games, shall we? Now, the games we decided to test are as follows, and we mainly picked games that would try to utilize all the VRAM this card has to offer. We have Cyberpunk, we have Jedi Survivor, we have Hogwarts Legacy, Apex Legends, and Fortnite. Now, the first three games are gonna be the most demanding. The other games I kind of just threw in there just to see what the performance was like overall. But first up in Cyberpunk, we did a lot of experiments. First up, we use the built-in benchmark 1080p high settings with no FSR because I wanted to really max this thing out with everything it has. I really didn't know if FSR had an impact on VRAM, but you know what? We went with it anyways. We ended up getting an average of 29 FPS, a minimum of 23, and a max of 39, but we were only using about four and a half to five gigs of VRAM. That most certainly wasn't going to cut it because that was still less than the standard 580 that comes with eight gigs of VRAM, so we really didn't know for sure if this thing legitimately has 16 gigs of VRAM. So we just to dive into Cyberpunk itself, play the actual game, and we were getting about the same FPS and utilizing only about five and a half gigs of VRAM at 1080p with the same settings. So let's up the resolution. Let's up to 1440p, and as you can tell, the FPS took a massive drop. We were only getting about 13 FPS, and the VRAM went up to about 5.7 gigabytes used. We're getting a little bit better, but still not where we want it to be. So then I decided to do 4K, which was an absolute mistake. We we went 4K and we got an average of about 8 FPS. It was a slideshow, it was awful, and we ended up using about seven gigabytes of VRAM. So even with Cyberpunk, we were unable to get the numbers that we were looking for to max out the 16 gigs of VRAM, but that is fine. That is where Jedi Survivor comes in, a game that is known for eating up a ton of VRAM, and it didn't take long for us to dive into Jedi Survivor. We went straight to 1440p epic settings with balanced FSR, because I just wanted to see with FSR, we could actually get a playable experience and we end up eating up 12 gigs of VRAM at 30 FPS. So far, it's looking like this card is legit. We are using 12 gigabytes of VRAM and getting a okay experience, much better than I thought at 1440p. Yes, we are using FSR, but it is still a very playable experience considering, well, some of the consoles only run this game at 30 FPS anyways. 
Now 12 gigs of VRAM used was not enough for me. I wanted to go to 4K and we went to 4K, epic settings with FSR, and we ended up getting an average of about 14 FPS, but we used 13 and a half gigs of VRAM. I honestly thought this card was not legit and the fact that we were utilizing 13 and a half gigs of VRAM kind of proves that this thing is real. Why does it exist? I really don't know. Maybe there's some sort of cryptocurrency benefit and that's why it exists, but it's using 13 and a half gigs of VRAM. Doesn't make the game any more playable because the GPU itself is fully maxed out, but it is using the VRAM that's given to it. And we decided to turn off FSR just for the sake of it. We got eight FPS and it was about the same amount of VRAM. We pretty much capped out about 13 and a half gigs of VRAM. Now, another game that has released recently that does pull a lot of VRAM is Hogwarts Legacy, 1080p ultra settings with no FSR. We got 20 to 30 FPS and used about nine gigs of VRAM. Not as impressive as Jedi Survivor, but we were not done with Hogwarts Legacy. We decided to go to 1440p and ended up getting an average about 18-ish FPS, but the VRAM usage stayed about the same. It wasn't much higher. So overall, I would say Hogwarts Legacy was definitely a game that did push it to its limits, but it didn't utilize nearly as much VRAM as Jedi Survivor. But again, it does show that we do have 16 gigs of VRAM to use. And at the end of this video, we're going to tear this thing open and try to look at it and compare it to a normal card so you can see the difference between an 8 gig version and a 16 gig version. Now let's just play some normal games to see how this card performs. We have Apex Legends 1080p high settings and we ended up getting 70 plus FPS. I think the funny thing about this graphics card is that it is a 2048 stream processor 580 so it's basically a 570 with 16 gigs of VRAM so that's pretty funny to consider but it does show that it can still play the latest titles but I really don't think that VRAM is helping it at all. It's gonna help in some situations I guess but gaming, I don't really think there's much benefit to it, and it's just kind of strange that this card exists. And of course, we have to throw Fortnite into the test. When we do test Fortnite, we do have to mention Fortnite is a very CPU-dependent game, so I really don't expect the GPU to really stretch its legs fully because it is going to rely on the CPU a little bit. We end up getting 60 plus FPS on high settings, 80 at times. I do have to say, Fortnite is a game that uses a ton of system RAM. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I would say in recap with this graphics card, it exists. I don't really know if you should buy it over a 2048 stream processor version. If it's being sold for the same price at the time of recording this video, it's about $110, then maybe you should get it, but you can get normal 580 2048 stream processors from AliExpress for about $60 to $70. This is nearly double the price for both double the VRAM, but it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is more of an experiment to see if this card legitimately has 16 gigs and it appears to have it. But before we wrap this video up real quick and bring Jackson back in here, we'll take this graphics card over to our overhead setup and see exactly what it looks like under the hood. All right, guys, so after opening up the 580 16 gig, it confirmed to me that it is a 580 16 gig. It's very simple to take this thing apart. There's four screws on the back with a void warranty sticker, which of course, we're gonna avoid that warranty, with two other screws off to the right. And once you take that off, you have access to the GPU die and the memory modules. Now I will say, I am not an expert when it comes to VRAM memory modules, so I had to do some Googling of one of the VRAM modules, and they do pop up as eight gigabytes of VRAM, which confused me at first, but after doing some research and seeing this AliExpress listing, the eight gigs of VRAM comes in four modules. So four of those little VRAM modules will equal eight gigabytes of VRAM, and we do have eight of those modules on there, so therefore we have 16 gigs of VRAM total. So it's legit. This is GDDR5 memory, 16 gigs, and it's funny, for just $11, you can get 16 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory for a graphics card. So if you're somebody who's able to add more VRAM, VRAM to a 580 like this or swap out the 580 VRAM that was there before, which I believe was all single one gigabyte modules to equal eight gigs of VRAM. You have an easy way of getting 16 gigs of VRAM on your 580. But again, as I mentioned, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you're gonna be so bottlenecked by the GPU itself that VRAM, well, it will use it in some games that are really unoptimized and will just eat up VRAM. It doesn't really make your gaming experience that much better, but it was still cool to take a look at this card and know that it exists. Let's bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this 580 16 gig, which still feels really weird to say, but we opened it up and actually looked at the VRAM and there was a total of eight. Normally they'd be eight by one, so it'd just be one gig dims. But in this case, we think that they're actually two gig dims and that only cost around 15 bucks. Yeah, it's really affordable to add GDDR5 VRAM. There's gonna be a difference with the newer cards out there like GDDR6, but since this is an old card and nobody's really doing 16 gigs of VRAM, obviously it's gonna be very cheap, but I, I still 
still wouldn't purchase this over a 580 2048 stream processor because you can get those on AliExpress. If you're already buying from AliExpress or something like this, you could buy them on AliExpress for like $60. So this is almost double the price for extra VRAM that you really can't super utilize. As you can see from the benchmarks, it didn't make AAA title gaming that much better, but it's still very interesting to see that there is somebody doing something like this on AliExpress. And if you wanna buy one yourself to mess around with, check the links down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of the 16 gig 580. Is it something you would consider picking up? Or if there's any other weird cards on AliExpress you wanna see benchmark, let us know in the comments section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now this 580 will end up in a build over a PC Bros with a one year warranty. And yeah, it'll probably be a pretty freaky build, but it'll also be freaky cheap. PC Bros Tech, we sell freaky <laughs> cheap on a budget. Use code TOSYBROS2 on checkout to save 2% on your next purchase. And stay tuned guys, you see this mouse pad on our desk right now? We'll have them going to the website very soon. Not sure of the details yet, but stay tuned for that. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.